like science or engineering jobs after finishing school, but that is not the case with our two guests now. Yeah, Colin McNally and Sarah Sulker beat up competition from 2,000 other pupils with their inventions to win the titles of Young Engineer of the Year and Young Scientist of the Year. And they're here with us this morning, Colin and Sarah, with their prizes to, uh, to show off as well, along with Paul Jackson from Engineering UK. Um, let's talk about how you won these amazing awards. Uh, Colin, to start with, you... What was it you invented? Explain it to me. Well, uh, I invented a part called the ivory hammer, and it's for it's an agricultural machine for the back of the tractor, and it's for um, driving posts for fencing, you know, along fences, and for spinning sticks. So uh, the idea came from uh, my father was looking to increase productivity for grass fed cattle for his farm shop. So um, we had to put up all these fences and wanted to start to make the machine, but then um, wanted to make it more versatile for farmers. So we made the two attachments. So instead of having two machines, you have one machine. And then you're not, you're maintaining one machine instead of two machines, so it sort of makes sense. This describe your invention is described here as world changing. Yes, well, I, I did a lot of work on health and safety around it because um, some of the other products on the market at the moment were um, a lot of health and safety issues around it. So we looked at the danger zones and then trying to isolate danger zones. And one of the main things was that um, in some of the post drivers at the minute, the uh, hammers actually just raised and then dropped. Uh, with no control, mm. so by using a two-way ram, I actually, we actually have control of how far the, the weight drops, and if it drops half when someone goes to the wind, we can actually stop it dead, as opposed to having no control of it, over it whatsoever. So. Well done. Now, Sarah, you were working on a research project, weren't you? What was that exactly. about? Exactly. So, um, we were looking at the way in which this drug that's currently used to treat irritable bowel syndrome, we wanted to understand the mechanism by which it affects human airway cells, and we hope by understanding that further, we might be able to find cheaper and more effective treatments for cystic fibrosis, because it's a disease that affects over 10,000 people in the UK, but current drugs cost around like £40,000 per year per patient, uh, and aren't effective on all mutations, so obviously if we can get more drugs, we'd much better. How do you even start doing that? Um, I think it kind of stemmed from interest in medicine. Uh, so. It's such a broad area, so I wanted to kind of hone in on a certain area. And like cystic fibrosis is the genetic disease that affects the most people in the UK, so that was a, a really interesting project, and I was really excited to, to do that. Well, well done, both of you. Paul, let's turn to you. I mean, what, what makes these two winners? What makes them so special? Uh, the brilliant innovation, the work they're put into it, and, and the real world application of cystic fibrosis is very important to, to do the work there and dealing with a health and safety issue and a cost issue. Actually, that's classic engineering, mm. dealing with the creativity, the design, uh, and making it at a cost. So they, they shone out from over 2,000 entries uh, across the UK at different age groups, um, and the 200 finalists, including my 13-year-old as a finalist in the junior category. So no. I'm, I'm a proud dad as well. Oh, that is great. Great. Yeah. Bang fair. But you didn't bring them in. Uh, no, no, she's back there. Yeah. But we, we have a project <laughs> done in, uh, at the NEC. Because we're open today as well for families to come and visit and see what they could get involved in, what their children could be involved in in science and engineering. So all day today, free to attend down in Birmingham. So you've got your prizes, guys. You, you've won the awards. You've got the certificates forever. What, what are you going to do with it? What, what does the future hold? Job-wise, what, what are your dreams, Sarah? Uh, so I would love to be a doctor, but I think now that I've stopped doing research, I'd really love to combine like, being a clinician and researcher. So in terms of going forward in university, I'd love to do more research on cystic fibrosis, actually. So definitely something I want to continue with. All right, Colin, are you going to work for your dad, or are you, you going to be a boss? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, uh, I'm looking to study mechanical engineering and then hopefully go on. But at the minute, we're currently looking for a company, maybe some of these large manufacturing companies like um, Caterpillar or Class or John Deere or something need to take this product maybe and launch it into the marketplace. As well as well, I have this thing in my head where I can, I can imagine you out in the open, like watching your dad doing work and like trying to just like, trying to draw something on a piece of paper. Yeah. Is that how it started? <laughs> yes, that, Is that's it? pretty much exactly how it started from a young age. Um, I'm saying just building bits and pieces as we needed them for chapel runs or bits of I know then machinery as we needed just to solve problems that appeared. So, and then in real life, see the solution. So, if someone's not getting shouted for a gap being opened or so, a calf getting out because the problem's been solved. Your dad's not going to shout at you anymore. <laughs> that's for sure. Well done, both of you. Paul, thank you very much indeed for coming in. Congratulations. Thank you. thank you. Now, they have been described as.